Hello and welcome to Reliance Training on Getting Started with Reliance Weibull. In this tutorial, we'll cover an overview of Reliance Weibull so you can start your own analysis. To start, we are signed into Reliance and viewing the welcome dialog. If you do not have this open, simply click the help drop down on the top right of your screen and click Welcome to Reliance. In the welcome dialog, make sure that Weibull is selected using the module selectors on the left. We will be using our drone example in this tutorial, so we click Open Example Analysis. If you have already opened and modified the drone example analysis, you can easily remove all of your changes and return to the example analysis in its as supplied state by clicking Revert Example in the sidebar, which is highlighted in the message that Reliance is now showing. This is not necessary in this case, so I'll simply click Got It. We are also reminded that when we make any changes to a Weibull dataset, we need to calculate again in order to save changes, recalculate the results, and generate a new plot. Once again, I can click Got It to clear the message. Now Reliance has opened the drone example analysis for us and the Weibull data is displayed. Here in the data points window and the data sets window. So here we see the sidebar on the left. It gives us access to various functions, the data sets pane to the right of the sidebar, and finally the data points pane in the rightmost section of the screen. If we'd like to see more of the data points pane, we can simply go ahead and collapse the sidebar. And then if necessary, we can also resize the data sets pane by using the splitter control. Now the data sets pane simply contains a list of all the data sets in this analysis. In this case, there is a single data set for the quadcopter drone. The data points pane is comprised of two parts. In the data points table, you can enter and view data points for the selected data set. We also have our rightmost section where we can specify data set properties, calculation parameters, and see calculated results. Note that the data set properties section allows us to configure the data points table to match the type of data we have. Note, for example, based on the current dataset property settings, we see the time, quantity, failure, and suspension fields. To see how the data point table changes with modifications to the dataset properties, we can, for example, clear, enter the quantity for data points, we do this simply by clicking, and notice now our data points table no longer displays the quantity column. To revert back to our original setting, we'll simply click the Cancel button here in the toolbar. And we'll go ahead and click Yes to discard our changes. Here in the Calculation Parameters section, we define the parameters desired for performing Weibull calculations. For example, we can set the distribution, an estimation method, and several other calculation parameters. Finally, the results section displays the resulting calculation parameters of the dataset after Weibull calculations have been performed. The parameters that appear vary depending on the selected distribution set in the calculation parameters section. Because the results section is for viewing purposes only, note that the fields are disabled. Next, let's review the Weibull plot for the selected dataset. To do so, we simply click To Plot in the top right hand corner. The data points table is replaced by the Weibull plot pane. 
For the quadcopter drone dataset, we see its probability plot, which shows the data points along with the curve fit of the data. If we hover our cursor over any of the data points, we see a tooltip that displays the data point information. Note that the plot legend can also be displayed to include calculated results for the dataset. With the Weibull plot pane displayed, the rightmost pane is modified to show the calculation parameters at the top, and once again the results at the bottom, but now the plot properties here in the middle section, where we can define both the plot type and confidence type. Finally, we'll look at reporting in Reliance Weibull. We can generate reports for both the Weibull plot as well as the input data. Since the report button is in the sidebar, let's expand the sidebar again Note that the report button is fully functional with the sidebar collapsed, but expanding the sidebar makes the button easier to find. Now we can see the report button here under functions. In Reliance, all reports are created based on what you have displayed, which makes reporting very simple. To report, click report, which prompts Reliance to open a new browser tab and load the report with the Weibull plot. We can easily print the report or export it to various image file types. We can also generate Reliance Weibull reports that include the input data. First, we just click to table. To return to the data points table, now that the data points table is displayed rather than the Weibull plot, when we click report once again, the report options dialog appears. Here we can set a custom report title and also select the data sets to include on the report. The data sets drop down has two options current data set, which will allow you to report the Weibull data for the currently selected data set, and all data sets, which will allow you to report the Weibull data for all data sets in the analysis. We can simply generate the report for the current data set. So we click report. Which prompts Reliance to open a new browser tab and load the report with our data. We can easily print or save the report. For example, to PDF, Excel worksheet, PowerPoint presentation, TIFF file, which is an image, or Word document. Once again, when done viewing the report, we simply close the browser tab and return to Reliance. This concludes this Getting Started with Reliance Weibull tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website or contact us with any questions or to obtain pricing and purchasing information.